according to events that geosyncline where do they form the geosyncline now they are having you know variable position that this geosyncline could form like uh, you will find Hello everyone, welcome to Plutus IS, myself Akshay Guru. So guys, today I am here with one of the most important topic of our uh, geography optional that is geosyncline. Uh, this topic is connected with the geomorphology and uh, that further stretch up to like the mountain building process. Generally, uh, you will find this geosynclinal formation is uh, connected with the full mountain upliftment and uh, you know the process of orogenesis itself. So, like uh, without wasting further your time, now we, uh, we shall start the discussion of this geosyncline, what it exactly means by and again, uh, you know, like the uh, utility of this particular study. So, they go geosyncline. First, you uh, before going like uh, into the detail or the definition of this, you should know about one fact that they go like for a sinusoidal way or like in the uh, geology. You will find whenever there is a case for like a fold sequential uh, formation, okay, folding process is there. There you will find two iske surface banenge, like the one that you know that is upline section or the upper curve that is to be known as anticline, and this other low line section is to be known as syncline so this anticline that is the upline part and this syncline is rather a low lying depression of this fold system or like a uh, sinusoidal wave as so geosyncline when it comes to so that absolutely you will find it must be connected with the depressional form geo it means the earth again so that is a low depressional section okay which is long white and you will find to some extent narrow as well for many uh, you know GS inclining formation it is narrow as well like for the test C and shallow depression like depression you will find like could be of uh, further two into based on their depth a deep depression and a shallow depression okay so this is what the having less uh, depth and that is what the shallow depression of the water body bordered by rigid masses so this rigid masses are the hard structure that in like are considered as what this cratons in german that is what rather considered as a craton c or k right so this cratonic masses and get used sedimentation deposition from that surrounding area so cratons are absolutely in this their surrounding so what is geosyncline geosyncline is simply a water body that is a long stretch for hundreds and thousands of kilometer that is narrow and wide as well depending on its position location and then you will find it is a shallow depression that is getting deeper however with the continuous process of sedimentation okay so it is a water body that is bordered by rigid masses and gets huge sedimentation deposition from the surrounding like say for example like in this uh, uh, this particular uh, diagram figure you will find they go this is what the earlier you know position of this compressional or the low lying curve of this particular water body however what happened with passage of time say from both the end or multiple ends in fact this erosional agents you know like uh, winds hai, ya glaciers hai, or rivers hai, you know, they keeps on depositing materials over on this surface itself what happened due to this process this surface has started to apply a pressure okay on the uh, basin or that surface and that move further down further the process continues for again for hundreds and thousands of years <coughs> sorry and it then further lead to the downgrading of the surface okay or it has you know moved further down and at one point of time it reached up to 
this particular depth. So, this whole layer of deposition that is simply forming the process of sedimentation. That is what the sedimentation, a deposition of sediments carried by erosional agents over in this geosyncline that is sedimentation and this process is simply like further connects to the subsidence of floor okay so this is what the process of geosynclinal formation and just imagine now see this is rather the geosyncline is rather a loaded bunch of the sediments ab socho is pe jab you will find the uh, force is applicable from the different direction and particularly if that would be like in a compressional uh, nature you will find absolutely a topography that would rather emerge this topography is one of the most well known mountain type that is a food chain mountain i hope this definition is pretty much clear to you okay this geosyncline now like how or why do we study this particular case jaise maine abhi bataya that this the process of geosynclinal the subsidence of floor the process of sedimentation and then the consequent uh, compression that leads to the fold chain mountain okay so you will find it is this sediment that has been that have been uplifted and folded to form folded mountain ranges there are lot many examples of this on the earth surface like rockies hai uh, then alps hai then himalayas hai then atlas mountain hai then andes hai you can search those names further it is therefore said that the mountains have been formed out of geosynclines okay out of geosynclines as in the tethy sea in asia the appalachian geosyncline in north america and the caledonian geosyncline in the great britain that particular region or you may consider that europe as well so these are what few example those you know are simply like outcome of this process of geosyncline modification so the reason for this study that we should have a rightful understanding about how this fold chain mountains came into being okay then the concept this concept of geosyncline asset you know first forward put forth by the uh, uh, two renowned uh, you know geologists this hall and dana right this two have forwarded the concept they have given the definition as well however this concept was actually enriched by you know and uh, like further uh, propounded so uh, scientifically that is by the hawk he again he measured that this geosyncline is simply a shallow deposition of sediments that is responsible for the formation of the fold mountain chain the deposition of the massive sequence of shale see all these are sedimentary rocks sandstone and limestone suggests that the underlying floor of the older rocks subsided by a similar amount of sediments dana in 1873 called such tuff geosynclines tuff and subsequently they came to be known by the name geosyncline so earlier they used to known as like the uh, tuff geosyncline or the tuff the depressional part and later geosyncline as ab dekho according to style this earth's crustal part could be divided into two uh, you know uh, like the basic components or like the parts as in major parts as in the one is craton cratonic masses that are you know the parental or the very basic uh, landmass from where the continent rather uh, came into existence and the other is this ortho geosyncline ortho geosyncline is rather the most prominent type of geosyncline this is geosyncline you will find divided further into few types like ortho eu geosyncline ya para geosyncline hai na so that way but this ortho or rather the most common lying between two cratons <coughs> so hog defined geosynclines as deep water regions of considerable length but relatively narrow in width these are relatively narrow in their width okay so not much stretch as in like if you consider for that matter this tethys sea right this tethys is rather a geosyncline and you will find see it is stretch for hundreds of kilometers lying between the ancient laurasia and gondwana land and its width is comparatively narrow so it's 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 being a 
narrow water body and having a huge deposition of sediments and you can imagine the you know the thickness of the sediment from which the alps and himalayas that uh, this two came into existence okay so this earth surface is basically made up of the craton and geosyncline or the ortho geosyncline and he identified this hog the four further rigid masses sorry geosynclines uh, like critical geosynclines as in the rocky geosynclines that further led to the formation of rockies mountain then ural geosyncline gives rise to the ural mountain then you will find the tethys geosyncline gives rise to the himalayas and alps as well and then the circumpacific geosynclines that in and around the Australia, you will find the great dividing range uh, that connects with and other uh, <coughs> folded mountain regions as well. Okay, so this geosyncline is then leading to this particular examples and it's very like this critical nature as well. Let's say uh, 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 in the uh, UPSC examination, you won't find uh, directly a uh, question I had 2001 when there was a question like write short note on geosyncline simply uh, but now you will find this is the extension jo hai, like that is the geosyncline and the cobers vary of geosynclinal right or mountain building process that rather is important from the perspective but yes you guys should have the pretty much clarity over what exactly the geosyncline so according to events that geosynclines where do they form the geosyncline now they are having you know variable position that this geosyncline could form like uh, you will find in and around the uh, continents as in okay so along the continental margins or you may find it exists uh, like over or closer to the river mouth where the river drains it all sediment deposition then it may be between two land masses like eurasia and the uh, indo australian plate or africa and eurasian region and geosynclinal may found in front of a mountain or a plateau region as well so this geosyncline is having a differential location position as well you know? so i hope now you guys are pretty much clear with this term geosyncline what exactly it means by who are the proponent of this particular uh, this concept and further who advanced this theory that hogg and evans as well and various examples of the geosyncline so if that question would be asked in the examination i think you guys now have a sufficient fodder to you know to complete your answer so this is all about from my side for this topic of geosyncline if you want further topics to be explained please don't forget to comment in the comment box and please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.